What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the mobile studio, mobile office, mobile everything. Welcome to my car. I just rolled into Montreal. First event of the year on the CCPT tour. We're at uh, Club de Golf Boucherville. And as expected, it seems to be almost every tournament or course we play on the CCPT tour, there's a range situation. Either the course doesn't have a range or it's like a seven iron max range. Very rarely do we get a decent practice facility and this week's no exception. No driving range at the golf course. Looks like there's just a small putting green. So we have to warm up practice around around the corner at like a public driving range. I'm gonna get to some practice this afternoon while the Pro-Am is out on the golf course for the first couple hours and head to the course, chip, putt, get a feel for that, and then uh, walk a few holes, walk nine holes, play the back nine or front nine, try to coordinate being able to at least play nine holes after the Pro-Am. Hopefully they don't take forever. Hopefully the short golf course keeps it uh, quick and not like a six hour Pro-Am round. That's usually the norm on this tour. Yeah, first event in Quebec, let's do this. up as much of my time as I could. Practiced at the range, walked the front nine, shipped and putted all I could. Now I'm down in the back nine, about to go play these last nine holes. Just get a feel for how the course plays. It looks fine, looks great. Very in front of you, very flat. Greens are smooth, greens are quick. Subtle undulations here and there, so it's just a good golf course that you gotta keep it in play. Get your wedges close and make some putts. Let's talk golf. Let's report on this tournament. How did it go? First round, eh. I stuck to my focus, I stuck to my intention. I had a good chat with my sports psych the day before because I've been getting really distracted by things that I can't control and it's really been getting in my way. So we set something up where I had a way to trigger myself back into reality anytime my mind wandered from things I couldn't control. So this wristband, ouch. Anytime that happened, I'd have to do that. So by day's end, I had some good red marks there, but I stuck to it. I was really good, I was really calm. Fortunately, just some, some loose swings in the front nine. I made three bogeys in a row, short-sided myself, and then I clawed back a little bit, and then three putted, and then made a terrible bogey on a drivable par five. So I shot three over. I've entered everything into um, the My Round Pro app. I'm doing this for a few tournaments, and then I'm gonna do a review on the My Round Pro app. My putting, I lost 0 0.05 a stroke, not awful. My short shots, I lost a stroke 0.14, not good. My approach shots, I lost 3.74 strokes. Driving, lost 0.92 strokes. So overall, negative 5.86 strokes. So clearly, the mistakes were made ball striking wise, and that's what kept me from shooting 69, 70, 68, and being in the mix going into round two. There was a couple of low scores, there was a couple of eight unders, because this golf course, it was gettable. The greens were great. If you were driving it well, wedging it close, so you can make a lot of birdies, unfortunately. I wasn't driving it great, and then my irons were really subpar, and I putted well, but not a lot went in. Behind the eight ball, going into round two, I knew that I'd have to shoot three, four under par just to, to get into some decent pay. It was out there, that's for sure. So round two, third hole, dog leg left, par five. You really gotta bend it around the corner, and if you don't, the miss is blast it through. So I did, blasted it through. I'm in the rough line of now the fourth hole, coordinating with the guys playing for, okay, I'm here. I'm probably like 230 off the tee. Okay, go ahead, hit. I'll watch the first guy. So he hits, standing there. Boom. Hits me. Right in the inside of my left thigh, about this far from my balls. It really hurt. Like, it really, really, really hurt. He yelled four after it hit me. So I was pretty shook up. I, I mean, I was pretty, yeah, I was really, I wasn't angry, snap this, couldn't control it. Uh, I was pretty shook up though, and I hit that one up in front of the green, made a bad chip, missed my seven footer for birdie, and then from then on out, 
I just didn't make a good golf swing. The pain in my left thigh was really starting to get bad. I guess wherever it hit me, right where the nerve and muscle kind of contracts when you need to fire into that left side, it effing hurt. And then walking on it make matters worse. My pants rubbing against it didn't hurt. Like I've got a welt with dimples on it on, on the inside of my thigh and it's about half a golf ball in size right now. From four through nine, I went five over par. I didn't hit a single fairway, didn't hit a single green. I just was in pain. I just couldn't get off my right side because I was hesitant to rotate because it hurt. So I just, I withdrew. I mean, it sucks to quit, but I was so far out of the money and I was getting really frustrated and it was just like getting down on myself. What the hell, why is this happening to me, blah, blah, blah. I just figured, hey, this isn't even, guy I talked to in my group, he's like, I don't I don't blame you, man. Just rest up, put some ice on that, and, and be ready for the next one you play. So that's what I did. I'm sitting here at the Ontario Welcome Center, which is where I sat last year when I had to withdraw from an event in Quebec because I got food poisoning and passed out uh, on the 11th hole. So this is, this is where I sit when I talk about shit that happens in tournaments. I was really down because the reality of things is not good. The reality is I'm gonna play next week, Monday, Tuesday, and I'm probably gonna have to take an indefinite hiatus from tournament golf. I just don't have the money. The last month has cost me more. I haven't made anything. Staying afloat because of ad revenue, because of affiliate links and this type of things in the Patreon page, but I'm barely staying afloat with all of that. So I, I can't play any more tournaments. I'm gonna probably take anywhere from four to six weeks off. Maybe try to get back into playing some tournaments come July, if the money is there, if I come into saving a bit of money from the channel or if the channel opens up a door corporately or whatever, I gotta get creative. I need to find some money to keep playing golf. So in the meantime, I'm going to focus on the channel solely, make some cool videos, play some more of those par three matches, and just try to keep giving you guys good content that can help your golf game and just help make golf fun and try to make everybody better players. Unfortunately, I'm just making too many silly mistakes around to, uh, to be making any money just to break even. So next week, I'm gonna play. Hopefully I can kind of end on a high note, head back to Florida for a couple weeks and just reprioritize, sit down with Kelly and, and see what what's the best plan of attack for the remainder of the summer months. There are a lot of tournaments to be played. I just, I can't put myself in debt to keep, more debt to keep playing those tournaments. So I have to be smart right now and just keep working on what I can work on, and that's the YouTube channel at the moment, so I'm gonna keep working hard on that. I have a speaking gig, so that's that's nice. That puts a little bit of money in the bank to help offset this month of May and April. And hopefully, it can open the doors for a new speaking gig, but I'm not, I'm not sitting here begging. I'm not being like, woe is me. I'm very fortunate regardless. Beautiful sunny day. I played some ant golf yesterday, and I got hit, almost got hit in the balls today <laughs> with the tee shot, but hey, that's, that's life. And, I'm sure we've all been through some pretty crappy things. So hey, that's that. That's this event. Kind of sucked. Got one more coming up in a couple days in Barrie at a golf course I enjoy. So hopefully we can end on a high note and just feel some good, some good vibes and get into into the mix for that one. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe because there's gonna be a lot more cool, fun stuff coming. See you guys in the next one.